In this video, I'll be talking about left-hand techniques. Unlike right-hand techniques, which are much more complex, left-hand techniques are readily producing almost immediate results once you change something, relatively speaking. It still takes years to develop left-hand techniques, but in this short video, I'll try to touch on basic issues of the left hand. There are multiple issues with the left hand, but first and foremost, is intonation. We have to develop techniques to facilitate good intonation and later shifting and vibrato, not to mention endurance, which is a favorite topic of mine. The thumb is a secret weapon. Unlike other string family members, our thumb is not behind the first finger, but is always behind the second finger. The thumb is a secret weapon in that it's not a playing finger in the early stages of learning the cello, but it provides the center of your hand so your fingers can stretch forward and backward, help with shifting, and help relaxing and rounding your playing fingers. The thumb is a secret weapon because if you squeeze the thumb, it will stiffen your other fingers. Much like the movement of martial arts, when you harden the thumb, you can harden your other fingers. So please, pay attention to the thumb whenever you practice. Check in often to make sure it's always behind the second finger and slightly softly bent. Front playing fingers, one through four, should always be round, not caved in when you press down. People with double joint, practice with closed pins. A great exercise could be viewed on YouTube regarding this subject. Left arm, always straight, no hump around the wrist. Arm comes up when you play on a lower string. A big issue is the spacing between the second and the third finger. These two fingers like to be together, so either the third finger is flat or the second finger is sharp. You will always have to stretch the third finger to make sure it's sharper and conversely with the second finger, move it back to play flatter. The center of the hand is on the second finger, so the first finger is slightly leaning back and the fourth finger is slightly leaning forward. You all know this is right when you develop a callus on the left side of the first finger and a callus on the right side of the pinky. Shifting along with vibrato deserve their own videos, so I'll be talking about that on another video. Happy cello playing!